Hello. Today I'm going to create a possibly a more anti-Valentine's Day look with the Beauty Bay Reckless Romance 20 color palette that they brought out recently. So that is the color story. So I was thinking of using this row here. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyes and then we can get into it. So I primed my eyes using the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer in Fair, and I just set that with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Loose Setting Powder as my base for today. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the shade Backstage. using a ColourPop E9. Okay, now we're going to go into the shade number one. I'm just going to use that same brush just to blend that gray shade out. This is going to take a mixture of shade number one and backstage together on that brush. Try to get rid of any harsh lines. That are going on. Now I'm going to take Tattoo on a ColourPop E28 brush. Just going to pop that in right here. Okay, up in and use just a touch of leather to darken a little bit more, just in this corner. Okay. Going back in with backstage just to make sure everything is blended between everything. Then add it. Alright, I think that's sorry. My cats you scared me. Okay. So I'm going to take fishnets, that's what that looks like, that 
that's pretty. I think I'm going to take Encore. So next is mini dress. Wow, that is beautiful silver. Okay. I'm gonna go back into Encore again, just because I feel we covered, I covered that up, and I do want that showing on the lid. Okay. Okay, before my dog starts barking, I'm going to do the same to this eye, and I will be back. So I'm just going to finish my face. Um, there really wasn't much fallout to clean up, so there's that, and I will be back. So I finished my face, makeup, and I did my brows. So I'm just gonna run through quickly what I used. So for my face primer, I used the e.l.f. Good Vibes Only Soft Velvet Primer. For foundation, I used the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator Tinted Skin Veal Veil in Fair. For my concealer, I used the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer in Fair. To set my face, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I do feel this is very similar to the uh, Snow Much Fun. Uh, translucent loose setting powder so yay I did not know that um, for my brows I used the elf ultra precise brow pencil in neutral brown and to set the brows I used the makeup revolution brow gel in clear so I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bay Bronze Blush Glow Face Palette. This is in First Light. Um, I'm gonna use the blush shade Rosebud. I think I'm gonna skip bronzer today. Okay, I think that's pretty. Using that same face palette, I'm going to go into the highlighter shade Precious.
also gonna just use that as an inner corner highlight. I think that might be too gold toned though. That's okay. All right, so I did go ahead and line my eyes with the Makeup Revolution eyeliner pencil in black. So I'm just gonna finish the under eyes. I'm gonna go into backstage on a uh, ColourPop E6. I'm going to take next is tattoo. I'm just going to take a touch of leather in the corner, make sure they tie together perfectly, hopefully, to some degree. Okay, I'm just going to take mini dress again. Just add a touch of that in the inner corner because I don't like the gold highlighter. Okay. I'm just gonna put some mascara on and apply the lip with you. Okay, so I applied my mascara, which is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Bigger Batter Volumizing Mascara in Intense Pitch Black. Um, I think I'm going to do some winged liner, so I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Liquid Eyeliner in domino. I've never used this before, but we'll find out.
juga. Not bad. I think that'll do. So for the lip today, I decided to use the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipstick in Black Cherry. Okay, I think that is cute. So this is the finished, I guess, anti-Valentine's Day look. Um, I think if the palette is good. I did not use all of the shades, but what I did use, I found rather easy to work with and blend out. Um, I kind of like the way they set this palette up because I feel like you could go by columns or by rows and create quite a few really beautiful looks. And I can see this being like an some darker, more romantic looks or you could go lighter you can go into some of the pink shades you could create quite a few different kinds of looks with this palette um i kind of wanted to hop on the anti valentine's day trend but i do think you could find some really beautiful looks for a Valentine's Day look. I also think you could do a Galentine's Day look as well. And I think this is a beautiful palette. I like how much depth there is. That is something I love about that, that palette and that color story. Um, I feel like the look is fun. Um, so let me know, I guess, if you picked up the Beauty Bay Reckless Romance palette, um, or not, uh, maybe you're not interested or into this color story, which is perfectly fine. We all like what we like, and that's that's the whole fun of it, right? Um, I think adding the sheer lipstick kind of added a little bit of a darkness to the look. I could see doing like a black lip, but I have other th videos I needed to do, and I was like, I don't want to try to put a liquid lipstick on and then take it back off. So I kind of thought maybe something dark, but not too dark. I feel this is a good between that. But I do think you could do that. You could also just do a nice red lip and that would be beautiful as well. So this is the finished look for today. It is very sparkly. And I love the addition of the pink shimmer in there. I think it just adds a little, a touch of romance in there. Just a little bit. And anything sparkly, I love. But I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you really enjoyed watching the video. And I thank you so much for watching my videos. If subscribe if you would like to um okay i hope you have a wonderful day again okay 